You are watching Reach One of the series, Unraveling the Knot, Water Movement in the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta, brought to you by Resource Management Associates and the UC Davis Center for Watershed Sciences. In California, rain and snowmelt running off 40% of the land flows to two major rivers that converge in the vast Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta before flowing to the Pacific Ocean. Historically, delta sloughs were smaller and more numerous. The central delta was a tidal marsh and surrounding areas were fluvial wetlands. A wide variety of plant communities and aquatic habitats supported large populations of mammals, birds, and fishes. Over the past 200 years, nearly everything in the delta has been altered. Levees, riprap, highways, and canals have been built throughout, and dams regulate flow from almost every tributary. Today, the delta is a center for agriculture, commerce, and recreation, and is a critical link in California's agricultural and urban water supplies. California's water delivery system has been described as the world's largest plumbing system. Precipitation falling as far north as the Trinity Alps can be moved over 700 miles south to San Diego. The Central Valley Project, initiated in 1933, and the State Water Project, begun in 1960, have transformed California's hydrology. Networks of reservoirs, pumps, and canals have turned the dry San Joaquin Valley into one of the world's most productive agricultural regions and fueled the growth of cities and industry statewide. With water delivery, California's economy has flourished. But the bounty has come with immense trade-offs. Dams and decades of export pumping have taken a big toll on native species, and years of farming have caused Delta Island interiors to sink many feet, making California's water supplies more vulnerable to seawater intrusion. Some hope the construction of a pair of massive tunnels below the delta will keep water flowing to thirsty farms and cities and save what's left of the region's native species. Such changes are highly controversial and the effects are hard to predict. Today's delta is a complicated place. The delta is still a tidally influenced system, but flows have been altered on a massive scale. Sunken island interiors and sea level rise threaten its future. A monumental infrastructure proposal is on the table. In this series, we explain how water moves through the delta. We'll look at each component of water movement separately. Then we'll look at the changes we can expect with shifts in water management, levee failure, and sea level rise. Understanding how water moves through the delta today can help us better plan for the future. In Reach 2, Water Flows, We'll watch how rivers, tides, and exports affect water movement in the delta. Thank you for joining us in our effort to unravel the knot of water that is the delta.